Ooh, that was a decent one on the freight my pop. Ooh, quick, quick pop when he's whoop where, tail. where would you land on those two? Well, yours was definitely upgraded over the Patreon recording yeah. earlier. Woo. So we decided against. Rate so my, was Jay Wayne's actually. We decided against rate my crack. We should go with rate my pop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So send your ratings in. <laughs> Who's got the best crack? Yeah, one to ten. One drink. Everyone knows the rules. You can't give out a ten if you ever watch Pizza Review. If you give out a ten, that means there can't ever be a better crack. Right. So that's and you're just disqualified because you're not yeah, a real you're, 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 you're obviously a, real, a rookie. Yeah. So amateur. I would say I got a hard five right there. I think that was a decent pop. Well, you got an average pop if you're going hard five, so you don't have a it lot seems of... It's a tough scale here. Tough scale. Okay, tough grading. Yeah. All right. Lucky if you get a B plus. I'd give, I'd give, I'd give Jay Wayne like a 5.8. So it wasn't as good as the Patreon one. I got a 6.5 on that one. Well, I was, Did that's you? new scale. I'm, I'm, I'm testing this thing out here. <laughs> that's a work in progress. Yeah, it's a sliding deal on a curve. <laughs> on a curve. If any of you analytic guys could get on that for us to figure out how best to uh, rate a pop. <laughs> if you can't say something nice, don't say something, nothing at all. That's what my mom told me. Drinking the Never Sunny? You got something nice to say about that guy. It's like my second second favorite beer. Last week you were drinking your favorite Revelry beer. The Lazy Lover. The Lazy Lover. So Never Sunny, huh? It's it's in the top three for me. Yeah. It's like a it's a it's a it's an IPA, but it's not like yeah. so bitter. They just put the dark beer back out. I like that. Yeah. Well, I don't I don't like because it's uh, not actually dark. It just looks dark. Yeah. The but can it tastes, is, it tastes more like a lager. Hmm. Great can. Great shirt. All, all the they're killing all the designs over there. They are. Chris shout out to Chris Kemp. Yep. Does the art. Well done, sir. So we're we're doing the clock. We're doing it. We're trying something new here and we're we're gonna try to stick with it and, and do mix it up and, and do some of this throughout the year and, and try to keep it throughout most episodes anyway. We're gonna go seven minutes on the clock. And we're not sure if that time's going to stick or Sliding not. Sliding scale on the we're, clock. We're, we're trying to figure out what time's the there best There is amount. a buzzer. There is a buzzer. There's an amount of time. And there's a. We have the stopwatch up here. So we have a timer set to seven. When that thing hits zero, I'm pressing the buzzer. It could be a little extra extracurricular. Casey's act. calling for overtime. We ain't even got started yet. Well, there could be just just to, if there's a rebuttal going on. Like if you... Re, there's a really good right, argument. If, if you had going. a... If, you, if, you, if the person... T- currently talking ends when the seven and there was a rebuttal in there that he was responding to you could you could get a little bit of a at least something back to him okay and then maybe at the end we could bring it back on kind of an overtime deal maybe there was some more talk to be had we got into something deep at the end one the only thing i really don't like about pardon the interruption is that they always continue talking after the buzzer sounds sometimes you just need a little bit of a rebuttal and but sometimes okay but every time well yeah it's part of what it turns into let's let's, let's be honest that's what's going to turn into here well there's no (laughs) chance i'm not hitting the buzzer at seven that's fine they got a bell they hit it at two minutes and sometimes they'll be if we deem it's a longer maybe it'll be 12 minutes for a longer conversation or something but right now we're going with seven minutes in heaven or maybe this is big coast personal hell I'll get through it. It's I'll not seven it. minutes per person. <laughs> Dis- disclaimer. <laughs> I just stepped into the seventh circle of hell. I thought I, <laughs> I thought I had seven minutes over here. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right. So obviously big news on the uh, horizon here is Joe Flacco got. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Kareem Hunt to the Browns. We did talk about Joe over to the Broncos on uh, on the Patreon side of things here. Briefly and its impacts for those wide receivers. Um but we're we're gonna get a little Chubb Hunt Duke Browns talk in here on our first try with the shot clock. So, so shall we start it? I guess the first question is is how how do you guys is this you think this is a long term thing? How does it affect the backfield for you? What what do you think that, that your first overall opinion of what's going on with the Hunt signing is? This, All right. I'm hitting the clock before before you hit the clock. We should figure out who gets to talk because we could argue about that for thirty seconds. That's part of the part of the process. Okay, hit the clock. Here we go. Starting the timer now. First impressions of Kareem Hunt, Big Co. Go. I love the pickup for the Browns. I thought that was a smart move. The boys came across with the uh, number. Don't look one. at the time. It's started. It started. <laughs> it's moving. Timer's moving. They they I think it they moved. they went out and they got 
the uh, number one court they took the quarterback Baker at number one last year. A lot of people thought it should have been Darnold. They great move, great move for them to pick up Hunt here. Uh, they can't they can't lose here. They could either trade him for more or they got. They two, don't care about your fantasy. They team. don't exactly. They got two stud running backs now. Three. Uh, well, exact. Well, yeah, they're One not even. Look, they're, they don't even. They don't even use Duke. And then they brought. Well, if you look in at the yards, stuff. if the, the points per touch of Duke is extraordinary, <laughs> Duke's a beast. Duke's I'm not taking anything underutilized away. for sure. Absolutely if, love Duke. If Hunt stays, I love the. I love the landing. I love any landing spot that gets Duke. Anybody that brings in Duke's going to have plans for Duke. So I love the pickup for the Browns. I'm. I'm thinking that it's more of a preemptive strike for the Browns. Good for them. Dorsey's a guy who was a reason that Hunt was in. Yep. KC. Um, same with Tyree. So, so kind of, kind of knows him. Brought him in there. Not really sure why Hunt chose this uh, situation first. It may have been the first people to strike, and he he kind of had the relationship with Dorsey, so it it all worked out. I do think this could be a possible kind of trade away Hunt after he's back on track and the values back up. The Browns went in there and swooped. Right. So it could the be the exact a, same a, thing we've been telling people to do this whole time is go buy Hunt. Right. But for the Browns in a real football situation, right. you know, I think I. If it, if they do that, not a bad move. And hell, like you said, Big Co, if if this is if they just picked him up to play him, and they're gonna just roll with Chubb and Hunt, good for them. We, yeah, we've the, all seen you know the running back uh, position is is devalued or whatever. Well, now you got two awesome ones. You can try to keep them both healthy, keep them low on totes, well, Chubb, all that kind of stuff. Chubb's a second round pick, so he's not even getting paid very nicely. Right. And you you know you didn't. Hunt's a third round pick, right? And well, yeah. and and after being waived, so he, Duke he, Johnson's over here making more of the ball. Ding, ding, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I think it's uh, like you said, they're not they don't care about our fantasy team. And if they get if they want to work this like a Kamara um, uh, Ingram. Ingram thing like you said i mean i think it's fantastic move. the browns are trying to win some football games and they, they won more last year than they did two or three years previous combined yep and they're on the up and they got a solid quarterback solid talented roster all over hated the cornerback pick in the second pick in the first round last year in case he said no he'll be good i thought he would be I thought it was a bad pick he's great the browns are making moves and i like them agreed I yeah think could be just... a could be a bo jackson marcus allen if you wanted a little bit bigger Ooh. throwback Ooh. Hmm. I think they were just the first ones to pull the trigger on taking the PR hit. They're like, we're the Browns. No one likes us already. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. It can do nothing but go up in value. They can trade him. They can keep him. They can. He, the odds are he doesn't even play for the year. So but most likely, probably not. Most play of for the year. year. That's true. So it's like let's get this process started on his suspension getting finally <laughs> issued at some point, and then it served. And then they got an awesome running back on their hands. Good points. Before I forget, Marcus Allen was really, really good, but neither one of these guys are Bojack. <laughs> <laughs> I just that I, I had to say that. Yeah, both both as are good as much as I like Chubb and Hunt. Neither one of them. You put them together, you still don't even have Bro Jackson. Sure. And I mean, I don't. Some people thought maybe they would cut uh, Duke, Duke Johnson, and I guess they still could, and and pick up just another running back that's cheaper than Duke. Well, if Hunt's out for three quarters of a year, I think they, they're they, not. They I don't think Duke. Yeah. But, but just maybe to just get out from underneath this contract or something along those lines, they they, they don't have an option to really cut him, but his contract... There'd be two and 2.25 million dead cap. That's nothing. But it does seem to... His contract goes up on the back half of uh, Duke Johnson's that's still nothing. They got so here. much. They got so much so they, cap room. If they, they could, want him to go, they can get rid of. They him. could potentially get rid of him to try to save face on the back half of this thing and just pick up a cheaper free agent and know how they have Hunt waiting in the wings. I don't know. I think it's going to be like I said the first go around that they're going to try to make uh, some money off of the Hunt deal and good for them. Yeah. All right, we got three minutes left. So uh, should we talk a little fantasy implication? Here? Yeah. I mean, I think I don't. How much different could anybody? I don't think anybody in this room is going to say this isn't if if. If anybody in your league wants to sell Chubb, this isn't a great buy low situation. We've been telling you to buy Hunt the whole time, and nothing's really changed for me. Like, I'm going to get Hunt and Chubb for if anybody wants to get rid of him. Well, if anybody's sitting around being like, y'all been telling us to buy Hunt, it's really been hot and heavy in the Patreon side of things. I don't really know how many times we've mentioned Hunt on the free show, but just in case that was, you're hearing Casey talk and you're like, what are you talking about? You haven't told me to buy Hunt. It's been on the Patreon side of things. But, yeah, I... Casey's got a trade to tell you about that somebody moved Hunt or, or, or Chubb right when this trade happened yeah, or right UD, when this signing happened. In the UDPL, we're in um, right. one guy traded. So it would be Tyler Gunther with uh, the Dynasty Happy Hour and Shane, I'm not sure what his last name is. Data with, don't score points. With uh, Dynasty Trade HQ. HQ. Mm -hmm. they, they made a trade. He said Dynasty Trade HQ said he's a he's a panic trader <laughs> <laughs> when he sees those kind of things go down. He sent the 1-1 from sent, 2019. 
he and sent a yeah. 2021 second round pick and got back a third along with Chubb. So, right, that's what the Dynasty Happy Hour sent. And right. So basically the 1-1 one, one for Chubb and some... The 1-1 one, one and, and two years from now And two some ancillary uh, things. Got that, back a two year from now three and, and now has Chubb. Yeah, so I love I loved the trade. Whoever got Chubb, you said Tyler got Chubb? Yeah. I love the trade. For so Tyler. one one for Chubb all day. I love it. Right. Yeah. I think this just it, when Hunt signed with the Browns, I was like, at first, you know, you're like, wow, they got a good running back, but then it's like, and you think about it, the time he's going to be out and the Duke Johnson situation. It to me, it just lowered all of their values in the eyes of the public, and all of them. It creates a buy low opportunity for basically all three of those players. You can get them cheaper now than you could before Hunt was a Brown, and to me, that's the takeaway. So I'm still trying to get any three of them that I can at a discounted price. Well, Duke Johnson's basically free, but yes, I would definitely go out and try to get Chubb. I just don't see... And I don't Chip, see that Why happening. not try to go get Duke Johnson? Maybe they do end up cutting him and he goes somewhere else where he could be a, a, a little bit freed, and we've seen how good Duke can be. Absolutely. I mean, he just criminally un- misused last year. I'd like to see Freddie Kitchens get him on track moving forward, but I, you know, who, who knows what's about to happen? I, why not well, stick a toe in the water of a little Duke? Well, they didn't use him, and they were winning games, right. so I don't think nothing's going to change. As long as as long as Nick Chubb stays healthy, Duke Johnson's a, he's an odd man out. And then if Hunt's just suspension isn't too long, Duke's Duke's a goner. Yeah, it's weird how little they used him. Like it well, was an odd situation. And I they just, kept saying like we need to get him more work. Right. So, so maybe they are trying to get rid of him. Yeah, I mean he costs more than these other two guys combined. I I would I would reckon to imagine. Reckon to imagine. Love reckon it. Reckon to imagine. I'm really just trying to get to the end of the shot well, clock. We, I feel like we just finished. We did it. And. All right. That's the shot clock timer. First, first seven minutes in heaven there. We All didn't right. even kiss. <laughs> well done. Well done. Started holding some hands. All right. What's next? 